In the figure of the right, point A is the center, and we're going to rotate this 180 degrees. Now, I should say clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise is obviously going clockwise like this, and the yellow will be an example of counterclockwise the other way. There's 360 degrees in a circle. So one full turn will be 360 degrees. So we're starting at point E, and the center is A. So if we wanted to go 90 degrees clockwise, that would give us L, and another 90 degrees would give us F, which is 180 degrees. So F would be our answer. Now, if the question was, what would be 90 degrees counterclockwise? Well, we would go 90 degrees this way, and it would give us M. Next one is, we're going to draw um, this figure with 180 degree rotation. So point B, and I'm going to freehand this. This is going to be multiple choice for you, most likely, um, because I'm don't have a uh, grid right here it's not going to be perfect 180 degrees is going to take you somewhere down here we'll call this my b prime that's where we got that b with apostrophe after it a d 180 degrees this way it's going to take us somewhere up there we'll call this d prime and my r prime will be somewhere up here now again it should be exactly the same but it's not going to be because i'm freehanding this And then I draw the connecting lines. It's not too bad, but it should be the same size. Everything should be the same. You just rotate it. Okay. So pause it a few more times. We'll go on to the next page. So we're going to graph the, the glide reflection of that triangle below. And then we're going to do the translation rule of x comma y minus 1. And then we're going to reflect over the line x equals 0. So first I'm going to graph it, uh, move it y minus 1, which is just down 1. So at the moment, I'm moving each point down 1. And then I'm going to reflect it over the line x equals 0. And this is the tricky part. A lot of students will draw the line that goes left and right, but x equals 0 is actually the same thing as the y-axis. So we draw a line that goes straight up and down. Now we're going to count how far that red dot is from that green line. So this P, this one right here, is actually 5 away. I'm just looking at the coordinate grid down there. So it's five way. You can manually count if you want to. So my new one would be right here. This could be my P prime. My N is seven. So I have to go seven to the left. This is my N prime. And my B is also seven away. So I've got to go seven more to the right. And this is my N prime, uh, sorry, B prime. And then I would draw a straight line to connect them and make my triangle out of them. I probably should have picked a different color, but we'll go with this. I'm going to pick a point here, and we're going to go x plus 1, count y plus 1, and then reflect it over the line x, y equals x. So let's pick the point just kind of a random. Let's do negative 4, comma, 3. This is negative 4, comma, 3. And we're going to graph it over the line y equals x. y equals x is, if I get my straight line, it will look something like this. Not perfect because I freehanded it. All you have to do, you can't really count necessarily because it might be kind of tricky, especially on the grid, but all you have to do is switch the x and y around. That's all you're actually doing. So negative 4 comma 3 would become 3 comma negative 4. And visually, it would look down here. And that does kind of match up. If we draw a, a straight line, this orange line would kind of go right here. And then we reflect over that line, be this purple. And it should give us about the same because I'm freehanding it. It's not perfect, but that's it. 